Hi guys, this is Jeremy here. So today we'll be looking at this set which is a Lego Star War number 75301 Luke Skywalker's X-Wing Fighter. To me, I'm actually very excited to get this set because uh, X-Wing is always one of my favorite fighter. And here with this set, is uh, you actually get four minifigs which is Luke Skywalker Princess Diana and uh, General Dunana and of course R2-D2 So the X-Wing as you can see here the front is actually like a, it does look a bit like a parrot beak to me a uh, grey colour and then the side here is actually some red bricks white and red bricks and there's actually a, a, a smooth top piece here and then here on the top here this is actually a sticker and also you can see the side here there's a sticker over here and this copy is actually a printed piece so and plus together inside here there's also a printed piece which is the console with the seat inside and you can actually sit one character so the skywalker will actually sit inside there yeah okay so he can actually fit you know nicely inside there and can with the cockpit cover the only thing is that there's no place to put, put his uh, lightsaber so you might have to find a place to store it or what and then on the side on the top here there's a chip on the sticker also with a sticker here and one more sticker over here and this is the engine inlet and Actually, I really like the I really like the laser the two laser it may be a bit short if you you know you really talk about the proportion with the real real x-wing but it's still very nice and to the back here you can see actually there's a spring loaded shooter which is only at the below and there's actually four engine with the back here this part here I don't know I feel like it feels like as if like it kind of like cut off like that but you know but they do try to put some of the drill piece here to make it look nicer and there's actually this two clip here so I have no idea it's, it's like this two clip doesn't do anything so more like a, you know like a, 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 ten, a, more like a display like that and on the top here there's actually one two and three sticker piece and this whole part here is actually you know where the mechanism for the folding of the wing all this is all the technique pin inside is actually quite stable you know to the build for this whole thing so the whole s4 system is actually quite quite good and of course here is where R2D2 will be sitting on. So he will be cup sitting on the top here. The only one thing I don't like is uh you know R2D2 simply just come out too much. He should be maybe you know around like maybe two tiles lower where in the show only you know in general only the wing sorry only the head here is kind of like exposed but still you know still it's good that there's a place for R2-D2 to sit in and of course the other side of the wind there's a start shooter right at the below here and also also with the laser the two laser and sticker sticker and sticker plus here also sticker there's a sticker here on the side here so the whole thing is actually very nicely done and to open up the wind you just need to press this piece down so you actually open up the wing so there's no there's no rubber band or anything like that you know normally the older set they will have the kind of mechanism that kind of like hold on to it with with the rubber band piece to close and now they actually take away with the rubber band and in order to close all you need to do is just put it down on the floor and it will close and if you want to open it up you have to push it you can push it down and push this out and it will actually open up 
so the nice thing is that there's no like rubber band or this kind of thing the only thing is that if you want to you know display with the x-wing open you you will need to make some kind of stand or this if not if you just leave it on your cabinet it will actually close back the wing and uh, talking about leaving it on the cabinet you see the base here this is actually the front landing gear uh, it's uh, quite sturdy but the only thing is that you know you can't keep this mechanism it's on actually on a pin and it's fixed only this part is movable so most of the time you know even if it's not in correct position when you put it down it, it, it will actually kind of like return to the position that's supposed to be when it's standing and as for the back here it's actually these two single touch you know like like the snow snowboarding or snow rail thing it's uh you, you can't it's not retractable retractable but you can actually turn it left and right so basically when you actually land they are when you actually land the ship is actually very nice to have all this the only but if you're gonna fly around then you know if you're gonna fly around then of course you might want to like pull it off you might want to pull it off and keep it somewhere else and when you land then you just put it back same for the back leg here you can just you know you can just uh, take off the top here and let it fly around and when you need to land then you just put it back and of course when you are in the fight, fighting position you want to open up your S4 I really like the look of the X4, S4 open so you know most likely I will try to I'll try to uh, make a leg so as to display it with the S4 open very nice there's no carrying handle or anything like that so basically how you actually handle this guy is to hold it right at the top here and you can just fly around and then when you want to close the wing you can either land it and let it auto close or or you can just close manually these two and they will actually the whole thing will simply just close down let me just show it to you so you just press this down and it open up and if you want to close it back just press these two together and you will go back together the the other downside that I do discover is that this thing doesn't really close it doesn't really close tight there's no mechanism that push it together so it tend to open up and it's, it's very wiggling especially the below yeah here is the below is even worse than the top it really wiggle around the top also you know the whole thing is like it's like tend to wiggle around and I do discover that if you actually shake it hard enough this the wind will actually open up by itself see now it's actually opening up without even needing to press and, and close it back let's show one more time huh? when you wiggle it it will actually open up yeah then there so that's the X-Wing but in general I would say this is a very nice set even though it does have this issue and the RT, R2D2 is actually you know standing too high and the landing gear the landing gear in the front can can retract but still it's a very nice set okay so this is Luke Skywalker as you can see the torso printing is actually very nice I actually like it and it actually come down together to the lower part of the body and it's kind of like join with the leg and the pocket here and the face here is actually with the visor down and the helmet with the logo and on the side here there's no arm printing and the back yeah this is the back printing and here you can actually see a bit of the face this is with the face with the visor up 
so if you prefer the vi like for me I prefer the visor down so I'll be using that face somehow you can you know see a bit of it it will be maybe it will be nicer if this this helmet can just come down just a bit more to cover up the face I think it will be nicer that way and here the lightsaber the blue lightsaber with the silver handle and then more printing on the top here yeah very nice I actually like the Duke Skywalker a lot okay and next year we have uh, Princess Liana so as you can see she's in uh, in, gen in general is a uh, white dress and uh, here actually there's a uh, you can see there's a belt and there's a bit of the shadow on the side here to you know indicate that you know she has a slimmer waist than the guys all these and the below here is actually a one piece without the, the the part for the leg to walk all these so this is but uh, this is actually very nice and her smile and I really like the hair piece with the two bun on the side all this with a bit of the, the detail here very nice piece and here she's uh, given a blaster a small blaster yeah, and that's very nice and the back here also and you can see also with the belt so a slimmer waist than the guys and a this like a hoodie type you know with a, with a hair cover and some of the detail here and the big bun head here she has a, a second face with a uh, kind of face you know this is how the face will look like with the hair piece mm, but still for me I prefer this expression even though like it's a bit of cheeky smile but still it's very nice nicer than the uh, unhappy angry kind of face uh, so this is how princess Liana look like okay so next up here is uh, General Dodana so you can see here he's actually holding the silver blaster and I really like his print on the torso here all the way to the leg uh, the long jacket and with the belt four pocket on the jacket very nice the collar here yeah and also the face you know the face beard the a uh, bit of like moustache just a bit and the wrinkle on the forehead all these and the hair piece very nice there's a bit of gap right at the center here between the hair and the face hair but uh, still, you know, the whole thing is very nice. The hair piece, actually, if you look at the back here, a bit pointy here, but uh, a lot of the detail, all these, very nice. I like it a lot. Yeah, it's really cool, man. And uh, come to the back here. The back here is actually more, si it's actually simple. Just a few, just two wrinkle and, uh, you know, divided of the clothes color. And of course, he has a second face so this face is like uh, I don't know how what what kind of expression is this this is like mm, like thinking yeah huh? but uh, I kind of prefer this face here seeing a bit of the T of his T even though yeah I don't have the T line but you know I, I prefer this face compared to the other one and actually yeah you look over here there's a you know a logo or something like that over here very nice like it very much and uh i heard that this guy is actually quite uh exclusive for this set you can't find him in any other set so yeah very happy to have him okay so then the last guy here is r2d2 so uh, I'm sure that a lot of you actually should be quite familiar with this fellow and uh, he's really like very nice uh, even though I'll say this is a very very common piece I really like the printing on the body here and the face here 
you know the head piece all these even though you know actually the printing of the head piece here is actually not very good you can see like this line is not really straight yeah but it still is very nice really like it the great the gray top here white body yeah I have seen you know quite a number of people where this line is actually slant all this so this set that I got actually is not so bad as to some of them and uh, the legs here with a bit of detail here on the side yeah very nice R2D2 Okay guys, so this is my overall review of this uh, Luke Skywalker's X-Wing and uh, overall I would say this is actually a very nice set and for the price point it's actually worth picking up even if you have the previous X-Wing be it for the X-Wing or even the Minifig this is actually a very very nice set and I really love it very much hope you guys enjoy and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you again next time.